Companies are always looking for ways to push consumers' boundaries and get us to swipe our credit cards. And hey, we do for good product. Like with games, even though a lot of them aren't really worth $70, they still get us to do it. And sometimes companies add microtransactions that are fair for the price. But ones like Activision Blizzard are always pushing things too far. And now they have infuriated Call of Duty players with a new pay-to-win bundle. I have a few different things to show off, but before we get into the topic, if you enjoy the content that I create, please make sure to subscribe to the channel and to the notification bell. Follow me on social media like Twitter or mine so that you can see when my content is posted, and of course if you do really enjoy the videos and the live streams that I create, please consider becoming a Dark Titan via Patreon or a supporter via YouTube memberships. So I do want to start off with this Kotaku article, Call of Duty is selling blatantly pay-to-win DMZ skins. Now when it comes to uh, Activision Blizzard, they have pushed the line many times with consumers. They are constantly trying to find ways to get a couple of dollars out of us. And this is just their newest plan. Call of Duty Warzone 2.0 just entered its third season with a brand new battle pass, plenty of cool looking stuff in the shop too. But there's a bit of a problem. Actually, it's kind of a big problem. Some of that cool looking stuff is currently under fire by fans of DMZ mode, who are concerned that the premium skins included grant unfair game breaking bonuses. Worse, leaks of skins that have yet to be added appear to turn DMZ into a virtual pay to win game. This incorporates mobile game free to play monetization tactics into a game that isn't. Free to play games have always had predatory monetization systems because they need you to swipe your card to make money and this one might not be you know as bad as what you see out in the mobile world but it certainly looks like it's the start of them going in that direction you are paying for an advantage in a multiplayer game which is blatant pay to win now before we you know get into the details i do see some people saying that this isn't that big of a deal but one day you will reap what you sow if you accept this companies will take advantage of you they'll start locking chapters behind paywalls complete weapons behind paywalls which they're doing now, it will only get worse. I understand one situation regarding a game you might not play doesn't matter so much to you, but you've got to look at the bigger picture here. If you give them an inch, they'll take a mile. Now, if you don't know what DMZ is, it is their extraction mode where you go in with loot and if you die, you lose all of that loot, but you can extract at points and take everything you have earned in the match. Or, of course, you can go on to win the match and get a bunch of stuff, but now they are adding pay to win to this. It says right now the Bomb Squad Premium Cosmetic Bundle, which costs 1,200 COD points, is offering players a free medium backpack at the start. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to do the math here. Spend money in the shop and you can always be reset after death to a better place than those who don't. While it's true that a player's arsenal of weaponry, which can include randomly generated weapons found in the map or their own custom weapons designed in Gunsmith, does make a difference in who's more likely to win in a shootout, what makes it all more, uh, oh, what makes it all fair in DMZ is that you have more than likely earned your good gear through playing, be that by chance or smart playing. But now the score new skin, however, grants a permanent free leg up to its owner, letting them acquire more loot and thus always outpacing someone who hasn't purchased said skin, and upon death they'll always come back better equipped. Now, I am someone who has played Warzone 2.0, and I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It is a very solid experience, at least in my opinion, and I love Call of Duty. It's one of the franchises that almost every single year I support, but unfortunately, hearing this just is massively disappointing. And things like this are even making it into single-player games now. Stuff that in the past would have been something like a cool cheat code is now an upgrade you have to pay for. I recently talked about the Resident Evil 4 remake 
situation where you can buy an upgrade ticket to fully max out your weapon. Yes, if you want to grind to max out a weapon, you can, but instead of it being like a cool cheat code for players to mess around with, they require you to swipe your credit card even though you've already paid $70 for this product. Nothing is ever enough to these companies, and that is the point that I am trying to make. And it's even worse in this case for me because this is a multiplayer game. I have to play with other people and I have to beat those other people. So I am at a massive disadvantage if I don't swipe my credit card. And of course, keep in mind, it's 1,200 COD points, but you have to at least buy the $20 pack of 2,000 in order to afford this. But data mines are even suggesting that the pay to win is going to get even worse because they are going to add a guaranteed UAV effect. And this has infuriated people. Obviously, heading on over to Twitter just to read a couple of comments since there is a lot because the outrage is so massive right now. People are, you know, voicing how upset they are. Horrible decision. How is that not illegal? Is there a way it's it's not pay to win? Sadly, no. Uh, you either have to purchase the battle pass in order to get enough Call of Duty points and some of the unlocks, or you have to straight up buy the bundle. No, they really went down the pay to win route. Yes, unfortunately they did. Wow, when people thought the new battle pass was a scam. I'd like to think they would see the error of their ways, but sadly their greed is probably too great. And that's true. I mean, I'd love to be positive and say maybe they will revert and they won't end up adding this to the game, but it's Blizzard here. Like I mentioned, they have done things like this many, many times. Let's look at something like Diablo Immortal. Oh yes, Diablo Immortal is absolutely pay to win eventually. Now, of course, Diablo Immortal, don't you guys have cell phones, is a mobile game, even though it is out on PC. It has the same monetization system, but they definitely went heavy pay to win in this. And we also have Overwatch 2. They, of course, decided to uh, make this a free-to-play game because they knew it was going to get more people interested in the title, but the newest uh, hero shows Blizzard's pay-to-win path. Unfortunately, Blizzard has gone down this path. They have decided to shove pay-to-win into many of their games now. It is unfortunate. Blizzard is not the company we once knew and once loved, though. I can't really say I'm not surprised to see them doing this. They are just trying to make as much money as possible. But yes, now now, in a Call of Duty Warzone 2.0, they have introduced a pay-to-win bundle for the DMZ mode, and players are so furious over this new decision. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed this and of course found it important and informative, please make sure to give it a like, share it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you didn't, make sure to give it a dislike. I appreciate your support either way, but I will talk to you all again in the next video really soon.